Hi, I'm Angel from FleeceFun.com, and I'm here in the All Free Sewing Studios, and I have a question for you. What is the stitch that everything is based on? You're right, it's a straight stitch, and that's what we're talking about today. It's based on the stitch that people used to do by hand, but now we can do it by machine, and it's so much easier. All right, let's talk about it. All right, so the straight stitch is the basis for everything, and so you want to make sure that you have everything set up correctly. Now, when we're starting our seam, we're going to want to make sure that we start at the beginning of our fabric. And there's a couple different ways you can do this. I even had one person suggest actually having the needle down right there. And that's really up to you. It's a personal preference. But you need to make sure of a couple things. One, that the fabric can be caught by the feed dogs or else it's not going to go anywhere. You have it set up at the correct seam allowance. And the seam allowance is the length from the needle to the edge of the fabric. That's what we call the seam allowance. So in this example, I am using a 5 8 seam allowance. That's the typical seam allowance you're going to find on most commercial patterns. So we're going to just go from there, and we're going to start sewing. Now, a couple of mistakes new sewists will make is that they will push the fabric through the machine. You do not need to do that. That's what these guys are for. That's their job. Don't take their job away from them. Okay? This hand, it's not pushing it. It's just guiding it. Now. What I like to do is I like to have a hand here to kind of help, and then I like to have a hand down here to kind of help steer. And this is good for, say, curves and things like that, because then you'll be able to guide the fabric. Now you need to pay attention to your line. You need to pay attention to your speed. And if you need to, just stop in the middle of your seam. That's fine. You can stop there for a second, tweak things a little, and get started again. A couple things you shouldn't do though is then stop your seam and move it, do something like this. That is not good, okay? So I pretty much ruined that seam at that point, so I need to start over. Now depending on your machine, you're going to need to lock your seam. To lock your seam, and we do that at the beginning of every seam, you do this. So what you're going to do is you're going to go forward a little bit. You're going to hit your reverse button, you're going to go back, and then you're going to go forward again. And that's called locking your seam. It's basically the knot at the end of the seam, so the seam won't unravel. If you look at the seam that I just messed up on, it's not locked on the end. And so when you go to pull on the fabric, see, it's loose, and eventually that's just going to come apart. So it's important to lock your seam. So when you come to the end of your seam, you're going to do that same thing. You're going to go forward, you're going to reverse it, and then you're going to go back over it again. And then your seam's going to be locked. And then usually there's some sort of uh, thread clip right there that you can use, thread cutter. And that's a good seam. And you can see how it looks good on both sides. Now, I just showed you the straight stitch, but a zigzag stitch is related to it. All it is is the needle moving side to side while doing a straight stitch. So to do that, I'm just going to increase the width of the straight stitch. So I'm just going to put this on about a three so you can see what it looks like. And there's your zigzag stitch. And all it is is it's a straight stitch that's wide. And you can do different widths. You can make it go really, really wide. See how much wider that is? You can make it go narrow where it's just not that much of a zigzag. But zigzag stitches are important. They're a great way of finishing edges to pieces, especially when you're be um, beginning and to um, just make a, it look nice. And it's important to understand this stitch is related to this stitch, so if you have a tension problem, it's the same way you fix the tension problem with this stitch, is you figure out what's going on with your tension and you adjust it from there. All right, so now you know your straight stitch. Have you ever sewn anything by hand though? What? I'm curious, let me know in the comments below. Also, if you found this tutorial useful, please, thumbs up for our hard work would really be appreciated. And of course, be sure to subscribe to All Free Sewing's YouTube channel because we're adding awesome videos just like this one all the time.